I don't know that I could have worked someplace that was, let's just do it the way we've always done it. I thrive in an environment where we want to actually be a disruptor and change the status quo. And I would define my career by that. I'm Maria Weaver, president of WMX at the Warner Music Group. I am doing the unexpected by leading people through change and transformation. I grew up in New York City on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. I spent a lot of time in the arts community, whether it be dance, music, theater. Music, though, was always really important for me. In New York during that time, music was so influential. There was hip hop, there was punk, all different types of music happening. And I spent a lot of time going to clubs, roller skating. Loved, loved, loved to roller skate. My family life was definitely so influential. My dad was so such a strong force. Um, and even though he passed away when I was still so young, my dad is the great grandson of Frederick Douglass. And so I also knew the family history of what it meant to be a descendant of a Douglass. He was 30 years older than my mom. He had three children. My mom, when they got married, she had three children. So I always say we were the original Brady Bunch. Being able, when you're eight years old to already see your siblings pursuing their careers and pursuing their passions. When you're very young, it alters how you think about your own career and your own um, growth. I quickly learned that the pursuit of passion was above all and paramount for myself. Maria is a person that's never afraid to try something different, never afraid to do the unexpected, to do the unconventional. I started acting when I was about seven years old and then continued on um, as an actor for many, many years, acting, dancing, and I went to college as a theater major because that's just what I thought was the natural progression, but I just wasn't as into it. And I knew at that point, it was really time for me to make a change. I started working for a company called Rainbow, which was the ad sales division of Cablevision. I like to say that cable was the first disruptor. Before there was digital and, and the internet, cable was disrupting broadcast television, and nobody really understood this box with all these channels and what it could mean and, and how that was going to influence culture. And working in that um, during that time, which was in the late 1980s, uh, early 1990s, was a very exciting time. I mean, we were really changing the way people consumed television. And I was around people like myself who wanted to be doing something different. As the president of WMX, I think about the impact that my division can have on these musical artists in such a different way. What we're doing is not really touching their music. It's touching all the other aspects of their business. If we can actually help them have sustainable wealth or improve their opportunities beyond music, we could really have an impact on their lives, which is very different than I think anyone has approached this role before. I feel like this job that she currently has is a beautiful convergence of the business and the creative and the artistic, and she's able to really bring all of those skills to play. And in a space where she's creating opportunity for others, for other women, for other people of color, and really looking to innovate in this music space, which as an industry is and has been in much need of continued innovation. When I worked at Rainbow, it was a fairly male-dominated environment. There were very, very few women and certainly not many people of color. But there was this one woman there and she was so influential to me. And not so much about what she said, but how she carried herself. She just had this way of being so direct and being unwavering. That has influenced my leadership. We look at leaders who are out of our reach, and those are the people that we call our heroes. But so often, we're walking among our heroes. Our heroes are in our life. They're touching us every day. And so she's one of those people for me. 
I think when a woman, especially a woman of color, is given an opportunity to be in a position that has tremendous influence, I think we have to approach it with great responsibility. It's really important for other young women to be able to look up the ranks and see a woman of having influence, guiding them, shaping the business that they're a part of. And maybe part of that is because I have two daughters, and so I know what it is for them to have that experience. But it's also really important for young men to see women in these roles. A lot of them are raising young girls. And, and to be women, we need to change their perception sometimes of what that will look like for the children that they're raising. She's beloved by her team. They appreciate not only how brilliant she is, how motivated and inspiring she is, but just that she becomes a mentor, she becomes a sponsor for the people on her team. She looks to really pull up those behind her, alongside her, as she ascends in her journey. How do I break the role? I... The truth is, I, I try to break every role that I'm in. When I think about the roles that I'm in in a professional environment, I'm always trying to do them above and beyond what has been done before. When I'm in a role where there's a predecessor, where there's someone that I could possibly be compared to, it's really important to me that I create a name for myself in that role. And whether that be pursuing a project or something that might seem harder than what someone else might want to do, or whether that be just really looking at how can this role actually have impact on the business and how can this role have impact perhaps in the industry. That's how I think about it. When I leave a company, I hope that I leave it having left a mark and someone can say, oh, Maria Weaver was a part of that, or Maria Weaver led that, or Maria Weaver created that. That is, to me, you know, so important that you create something that lives on without you. I'm honored to be a part of World Women Hour. <laughs>